welcome back to this youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber if you, are, if you are new to this channel i welcome you my name is akin lakin i am the lead instructor from kinfx academy so if you are new to, to this channel on this channel we give different signals on how to trade strategy on how to trade boom and crash for last listening this um since all the synthetic market and the forex market so guys on this particular video if you look at the screen you will see that the last video i drop is as same as this but the only difference is that the last video was on spike you understand so why today's video is going to be on scalping and it's going to be the same strategy the same indicator the same settings you understand the only difference is just the approach and the confluence we are looking for before we enter the trade so i'm going to go through the indicators again for the sake of the people that doesn't get the last video on how to cash spike on crash 500 so if you are not watch that video and you are interested in how to cash spike on this particular crash market just click on that video displaying on the screen you see it's this day on the card now you can see it at the um right top of the feed of your screen you can see it just click on that video to watch the video so guys now let's do this capping together so you know how to set up these indicators for the sake of people that doesn't know how to set it up let's go to the indicator so on the main chart we have nothing there so on the indicator window we have the average directional movement in this which is called adx so click on it so um the settings is actually the default setting what you are going to change is just style and the negative deficient which is the negative di so just change it to the background color of your chart if you are using dark background you know you are going to pick black color and if you are using white background just like mine you know you are going to pick white color the reason for that is that we don't want those style to appear on the chart you understand so they do, we just want to use them for backend so we don't want them to display on the screen that is why we have to just use a color that will make them disappear on the chart so the next thing to sample is just the level click on the level so add add these levels to your chart 051097 the adx is actually measured from zero the scale from zero to 100 i think it's more than that but what we need is zero to 100 so after you have input all these details all these parameters then click on save after that so the next indicator is moving average convergence divergence which is popularly known as MACD. click on the MACD. so it's actually the default setting not so so what you are going to um, change on this particular indicator is under the style which is the signal change the signal to the background color of your shots so um same thing applicable to the style and the negative deviation of the adx so we don't actually need the signal of the macd so we want them at the back end so we don't want them to display on the chart so guys after that click on save then let's go back to the chart so if everything that i said and you follow the instruction clearly you should have something like this on your screen if there's anything that is different that means you miss one thing one or two you understand so if you miss anything you won't be accurate like this so if your chart look like this that means you follow every step of the instruction now how do we um scalp with this particular strategy so what we are going to be using you know when scalping when cashing spike we use the level 97 now we are going to use the zero to five level on this scalping strategy so how do we scalp we know the ads the ads 
is a trend indicators your stance which display the overbought and oversold on the market same thing as the market that measure the strength of social sellers tell us the how strong a trend is and how possible a trend is going to change your understand so it's telling us when a trend is waking so now as we all know that okay fine we have the offer sold and the overbought region on the ads so we want markets to come to the offer sold region of the ads we are not just waiting for the market to come there we want the MACD to be touching the level five of the ads so once you see a spike occurring in the market patiently wait for the MACD, the MACD to touch the level five of the ads you understand so and that happen at this level you can see this first stick here the first stick touches the level five let me draw that array again so that you can see clearly you see that first stick touches touches the level five you can see this three line is zero five ten and it sticks touches the level five so after the touch you wait for the close candle then you buy immediately what you just need is some ticks like three to five is okay for you you understand so you have to um your risk management has to be in check so three to five candle is a very very good tick to pick and assist the trade you know this is called scalping scalping are scalpers are trader who execute trade within seconds even like within minutes within seconds so they are very fast in making their own money those are the scalpers so and we call this a scalping strategy so i don't expect you to place a trade and leave it and go and do something else no that is not the agreement the agreement is we are scalping so pick three that is you are staying on the chart for three minutes to five minutes i guess maximum you understand so and if you patiently follow this the instruction of this strategy i'm not sure any spike will pick you out of the market you understand so because i've done my analysis very well and i've done my back testing very well and i've also tested the strategy before coming up with the video you can see we enter the trade from here so the strategy is very effective if you follow the instruction you see another signal here so once you are picking three candle and you are able to get up to like 10 signals in a day you understand and you're having like five dollar accounts making one or two dollar on five dollar account is a lot per day you understand so per day if you check the percentage of two dollars is it is more than it's close to 25 percent you understand it's more than 20 percent on five dollar account it's more than 20 percent so imagine having a hundred thousand dollar account and you are making 20 percent you know how much that is going to be so it is your account that is small not the market that is giving you small money so the bigger the size of your account the more money you make that is how the logic so i don't know how you want to use turn the five dollar into hundred dollar in one or two days it is not possible where luck it may be luck and do that but it is not that is not reality so um that is not the skills that is luck and with luck anything can happen so and we when we say something is luck you, you can there's no consistency in it you can't do it now and still say you want to do it tomorrow it's not possible you can't do that again so follow the consistency like just pick the three candle if you are making one or two dollar in a day at least at the end of the month you will know how much you will have double your account with that you will have flip your account so guys if you are eager to double the month the, your account in one or two days just know that you are eager to blow the account so it is 50 50. so if you make two dollars today Tomorrow you may make one dollar, it's three dollar. The next day you may lose. It's okay to lose in a day. You may lose one or one or two dollar. It's still okay. You are still in profit. And the next day you make. That is how it works. 
That is how it works. Don't let anybody fool you. That there is money in forest. There is money in forest, truly. But it works for the people that have the psychology that don't get controlled by the emotion. You understand? Not the people that find money come, but they believe in the process. So, guys, I wish you happy trading. Do your back testing. Be the confident, the self trust, and the self confidence of the strategy before using it. I wish you happy trading and always trade responsible.